<laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> I was able to move in two weeks, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I would you, do that. Are you looking at another house? Oh, yeah. Constantly. Mm. Always and forever. Well, that's not a good thing, is it? I think so. I think it's great. Always forever. It means you never get the house. So you Until just... I find one. Mm-hmm. Always and forever looking. Well, well, all right. Okay. I didn't get the subtext. Mm. Just always or who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe after I find that place, I'm like, on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, feel, I do feel like that's what's going to happen. I think you're going to get your dream house and you're going to be like... Oh, finally, no one around me. I think once I have... Hello? I think once I have Hello? my property and I can just like actually feel like I can build something permanent on it, I think it'll feel a lot more satisfied. I feel like I'm not able to do a lot of the things I want to do because everything feels so temporary. Especially with renting. Like I can never do anything with... Like I can never make anything truly my own because it's not mine to begin with. I would actually <laughs> actually agree with all of that. But you're also like you get into a position and then you miss things from the other position. And then you like, yeah, I just think you're going to bounce around forever. Yeah, maybe. I think also whenever I just feel how sweet it is paying rent or paying a uh, mortgage instead. Yeah. I could start off with one studio and then after a while I'm just like, oh, I want to expand on it or just be like, actually, I want to do it this way or something. Just an endless cycle of bulldozing studios. <laughs> you, <laughs> you could. <laughs> you could. <laughs> I don't like this one. I'd probably get too sentimental to it, though. I'd probably just add things to it or something. There's 17 studios it's just dotted like around your land. Up top. Yeah, it's just like, like, like a this old industrial elevator tower that goes of Babel. Up. It's all mm. shaky and stuff. Yeah. Like, ah! <laughs> Perfect. That would be kind of cool if it was all like, I don't know, ramshackle and shit. But just like aesthetically, it's actually solid, and then you can kind of go up oh, yeah, the stairs it, and yeah, secret yeah. passageways and shit. <laughs> A bookcase yeah Hello. that was actually one of how i wanted to go into my uh like my actual office in my studio was going to be a hidden doorway like bookcase thing kind of feels like uh done before you could do something like fresh mm-hmm. yeah probably but i think it's just more of like it, it 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 takes that old like 1940s universal universal studios horror movie thing of like being in what if instead castle. you had a wall of dildos and one of them when you tug it Reveals the secret I just don't door. Think I want to look at that many dildos all the time. That's funny because you have a lot in your room right now. I have two. That's it's a lot outside. for a man. <laughs> yeah, it's the outside of your office anyway. You don't have to look at it. Don't yeah, but still, like, when I walk into my building, it's a, a wall of dildos. Mm-hmm. No, and it's a, a just... wall of dicks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that'd be awesome. <laughs> 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 just you know, anything like that would be cool. If anything, I'd rather just have like a, a series of uh, maybe a series of swords on the wall. <laughs> gay. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Do something yeah. straight like a wall like of dildos. Get, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you do. If, if you're if you're so sensitive about it, you do a wall so of sensitive. Uh, fuck off. A wall of flashlights, and then you have to finger them in a combination. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know, and you know, it's yeah, a, you know, the sad effects. thing is, I'm trying to think realistic here, and I'm trying to have an actual conversation, but apparently, we're not trying to have that. So you're trying yeah, to. Yeah. We're, we're not trying to have that. So I guess we might as well move on. Right? Repetitively <laughs> contract the same studio over and over again. You can pay a guy a couple thousand bucks to sort out combination flashlights for your door, and have it just like a blast door, just open. You know. Boy, oh, like, it's like a pussy. Yeah, the whole thing. Is, yeah, it so also, it's like a pussy that No, no the, the flashlights are like pixels of a larger drawing of a giant... Yeah, and that yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's some sort of hydraulic system they, they you sort of get, like peel like, back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, like the curtains are on, you know, like mechanics. It's, it's like labia. It's like... Shh. Mm. That'd be mm. fucking dope. That'd be that'd be awesome. awesome. That'd be sick. Yeah. would be really cool. Like, yeah. a, like a meat canyon, dude. You can, huh? mm. Mm. Might do the same too, where you walk up to it and you just turn this doorknob and walk in. Just might make I feel it like a I've door. I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, timeless classic. Uh, sometimes you want innovation. It's, it's kind of like a Shelby Shelby Mustang, just always forever a classic. That's cool, but sometimes you want the t- classic like cyber truck, don't you? C L A S S I C classic. C Y B C L A S S I C K or something like that. Cyber truck. <laughs> C. C for Cybertruck. C for classic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll drive my Cybertruck out to my studio with doors. Uh huh. With normal doors. Pussy doors. No, awesome doors. 
and I'm gonna have on a moat. Sides. I'm gonna have a moat yeah, yeah. on the outside. I'm gonna have a moat on the outside with Which marble alligators. I'm gonna have a marble alligators in the moat. So that when people walk through, it's gonna have a drawbridge. Open that up. Go through there. It's gonna be great. The alligators are more of a lice kind of shape. More of a what? Lice kind of shape. What do you mean lice? You know, like pubic lice. And the moat is just pussy juices. Oh, you're still making the whole oh, castle a pussy, pussy thing. thing. Mm. See, I thought, Why I wouldn't thought, you? No, I thought you were just saying in like a like a metaphorical sense because you stepped down from the pussy door thing and just did normal doors like a pussy, you know? Huh? You guys are getting lost up your own asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost, I'm lost up his arsehole. No, no, My no. Arsehole he's, is fine. Like he's, usual. He's right? yeah. <laughs> defaulting to boring normal doors instead of doing something bold like a man. Yeah, I so agree. Doing something yeah. bold? Well, I mean, I'm I'm doing yeah, all sorts of things bold. that are bold. <laughs> huh? I'm doing all I'm all, all I do is bold moves. It doesn't sound like it. It sounds like it all the time. Classic. You Shelby. guys live in fantasy land. I'm over here executing. Well, that's true. So, if I want a nice ma- if I want a nice mahogany door, castles. and I do ooh when I touch the doorknob, and now it's ooh, talking. Ooh, and I open it and I say, "Damn, that opens go, smooth." Ooh. Actually, it's really stiff, and I didn't set it ooh. in right, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that's nice. <laughs> Never fix it. <clears throat> oh, well, I don't know. Suit yourself. Yeah, I'm just being mean now. Just being hostile. I'm going to get a cannonball shooter. Some of my wife tries coming up. And, and she's she, golf she's balls. Like, she's like, Giant yeah. golf no, balls. No, cannonballs. Giant golf mm. balls. <laughs> like a pussy. <laughs> it's like, stop it! I'm lighting the wig again. <laughs> She's running back towards the house. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> 600 yards! Yeah, that's cool. 600 yards! Yeah, when we go out of business, you can hire me as a cannon shouter. No, I won't. 600 yards! <laughs> right, f- was it right forward? Right forward! <sighs> Left, right! That was my application. Hmm. Denied. <sighs> Sorry, dude, your visa's done. It does. It does hey, appear so the room, in a Jake. battle. Though, That's what I'm as, saying. As you've said many times, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the. It is will bleed. I'm gonna get a, like a, a small elderly man that lives by my property. I'm just gonna hang out in a tower of a. He's like, oh, he's a giant speaker. Oh, you know, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I feel like that'd be actually way more intimidating. <laughs> so it's walking forward. You hear like a super loud. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Do you think you could pay I, someone to like stand in a kind of castle tower whilst you shoot cannonballs at it? One hundred percent. Like, how much do you reckon you'd have to pay someone for that? Wait, to shoot cannonballs yeah, at the, the tower? tower? Yeah. Oh, oh no, I wouldn't do that. I would shoot it out of the tower. No, you shoot at the tower, and they have to be in the tower. You probably couldn't because they would actually you would die. Well, that that's the you. whole point. They might die, mm-hmm. but they might not. Is the monetary reward worth it? Well, and maybe. Could you someone? Maybe it could be like a Angry Birds type tower. Why'd yeah. you have to make this gay? Well, no, because then you can set it. What if it up. was like 2013's classic yeah. Angry Birds? And then you can set it on mobile. <laughs> I mean, it could be if it like it was tilted. The only problem is then it's like the guy's like, Ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, falls he, he falls off. Yeah. I would want him to be dressed in a giant bird outfit then. Make <laughs> yeah. sound. No, like a pig. It's part of the deal. Gah! Oh, he's a pig. That's right. Yeah. I'd still make him a bird. I don't Dope give a fuck. <laughs> He'd be like, Gah! up at the tower. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 you knew the rest. <laughs> Falls on the ground. Yeah. He's like bleeding out on the ground. <laughs> the house wins once more. I just walk up with like a giant, like one of those huge muskets that are like that big on the barrel. Just right, boom! <laughs> right to his face, blows up his head. How many cannonballs do you think you get as part of the deal? How many times you get to shoot at the castle with the and man? Tell him out. Oh, it's his house. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds, H- hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of times. How desperate are these people for cash? <laughs> <laughs> Sixty thousand dollars a year. That's his. That's, that's his salary. He's up there for like seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it this far. Please, Master Hancock. Mm-hmm. I can't take it anymore. Please. I'm just like an old fun. man. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> and I take a fucking AK, <laughs> blast it up there. Give him a fucking little pepper across. Brda, brda. That sounds important, bro. Mm. Get that. Why is his phone finished? 
That's my. That's how my phone goes off when she rings me. I don't know what this What do you want? That's what you go home to every day. All the lights out. Oh, my pedal, my love. <laughs> hey, I've missed your sweet <laughs> sounds. My pedal. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> demonic enough though it's kind of like take the stage one man like a tropical burn show us your finish that's what she is she's a spicy senorita yeah yeah it's sort of my wife is not a spicy senorita she's a Tangy. Cold northern petal. Uh-huh. <laughs> flesh. She's a wilting. Corpse-like she's flesh. A, she's a wilting. Icy to the touch. She's a wilting <laughs> rosebud in the, in the European plains. A dry root. Frozen. <laughs> a beautiful dry root. dry root from the northern <laughs> plains. <laughs> Just like Chris. <laughs> Just crispy <laughs> laying there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my love. I extracted her from the permafrost. She only became accessible in the last 20 years, thanks to climate change. Dragged her out. Oh, thank you, Biko. Thank you, uh, <laughs> thank you, America. Thank, thank you, America. you, Exxon. Thank, thank you, China. China. Yeah. Thank you yeah. Shell. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, VP. Just dragging a block behind him with a, <laughs> yeah, a block like, with beautiful like golden hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like muffling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait to make love to you. <laughs> yeah, I just I focus I focus my hair dryer on the fucking crotch area. <laughs> like this. Try, try and melt that out first. We's gonna multiply. <laughs> we are. We're gonna have a cannonball out with some kids. <laughs> 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 Yeah, go on out! Go on out. Fucking looking around. <laughs> She's like trying to slap the ring off. You're like putting a ring on her finger. <laughs> Stop it! Her Stop it. <laughs> She's like... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 ah. Every great love story has a beautiful beginning. Yeah, it's just the part of the the rom com where you misunderstand each other and it goes wrong for a bit. Now she's like, uh, now she's like fucking battered and broken and feels upset when she buys a ten dollar box of fucking Cliff bars. You got you got to teach them not to spend all your money because they will. They will buy Cliff bars until you're dry. Well, uh, Mr. Hinchcliffe, I don't know how I'm supposed to tell you this, but you're bankrupt. Your your wife bought so many have Cliff bars. Completely been liquefied. Of a cliff bars. Accurate. Just chocolate all around her <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Just bloated. Just bloated. Is this true, my love? Please tell me it's not true. She's like sitting there, she's like. <laughs> okay. At that part. <laughs> He's like, oh, 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 oh. you ruined us. <laughs> back in the ice. Go on, back in the ice. Just trying to cram her in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hand stuck back out again. <laughs> trying to take the ring off. But she won't let me. She's trying to escape it. <laughs> ah, yes. Love. <laughs> Love. What a concept. Yeah, what a concept. <clears throat> Beautiful culture, people. I didn't know all forty-three of them. When I went to university, mm. that I would meet the love of my life in the Siberian permafrost. It didn't cross my mind once. You never then, think about it. Yeah, it just happens. You're like, the lightning bolt. Come on, strikes. Tom. Mm. He was like hit, fucking backpacking for some reason. Yeah. We gotta go. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what's that? Like Wendy up there. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I see something. St- it's almost like she's like <laughs> in the ice. In the- <laughs> love, yes. love is in the air. My word, what a woman! <laughs> or no, she's taking a shoe away. Porta, 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 
some more. You're like, don't easy, easy there, my fuzzy little peach. I I'm going her to the sled with the huskies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're gonna have a good life in America. <laughs> in the new world, <laughs> it's beautiful out there. Heave, heave, lads! <laughs> <laughs> My ice queen. That's right. <laughs> she like falls off numerous times and like rolling. I did see someone say in the comments once, like the more I heard Tom talk about love and relationships and stuff, the more I feel sorry for his wife. Mm. What they don't understand is she doesn't mm. speak a fucking lick of English, so I can <laughs> say whatever the goddamn hell I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she will not understand any I of it. Understand, dude. It would be like Planet Everything. of the Apes when Caesar is like, <laughs> no. You're like. Fuck, it talks. <laughs> <laughs> it understands me. I feel like the entire time if she listens to this podcast, she's going to be sitting there with a glass of wine shaking. It's like teary-eyed. I care for you my best years. I, <laughs> I should have never buried this man. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably send that. <laughs> that, that one's gonna go in the archive for the archive of for the Green Crew Boys only to see. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, if my wife ever takes me to a court of law now, there's no way anyone's gonna be hours me. and hours of documented evidence. <laughs> she just shows them a cream crew supercut. <laughs> Fuck. You like sit there in the courtroom, like, it's, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's a joke. It's your comedy podcast. You're fucking bitch. Tell them. Yeah. Tell them. <laughs> Tell them. Tell them. Helga, tell him. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like it's like a fucking hunchback or like an elephant man. Tell him, tell him, tell him it's not true. They get up and they're just like, "You are a no. horrible, horrible man." <laughs> I'm a human being too. Drag me away. To the <laughs> yes. 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 You get all. I get all of his assets, yes? Yes, I get to Cliff Bar. Yeah, she goes to the I store. I get to Cliff she Bar. She goes to the store. <laughs> I want all. <laughs> what, all of what, what do you mean all? That everything. <laughs> all of it is mine. Yes, there, that comes, the out, to, that, that comes out to $375. I don't have that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she definitely does, but she's like, I can't. I $20. And then she, yeah, then she learns to budget at the end. Yeah. So we're oh, really, it's a yeah, yeah, we, we all learned. Yeah, uh, yeah. What did I learn? Uh, Not to viciously <laughs> beat my wife with a belt. Yeah, I hope that's what you would learn from this situation. <laughs> yeah, well, the yeah. repercussions I indeed uh, forfeited my freedom as a man or as a human being. I really shouldn't have done that. I, I would learn absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'll do it again! <laughs> yeah, you right. better not let me out because I'm coming for her! <laughs> and there's the sequel. Boom. Mm -hmm. Tom's Revenge. Well, you, dig, you dig up another one. You go back to Finland and find a, a rival. A rival. An, another Viking does, to fight. Do, does, she, does she remarry a Finnish man? Yeah, what happens to <laughs> I have all of his YouTube money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like just a plane coming in. I've come to take my ride. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't fight with the English. You Jimmy just, just gets it. in the plane. Okay. Kiss you on the cheek. <laughs> She's next to you the I whole time. You. I miss you. I miss you. You know I could never leave you. You're the love of my life. <laughs> I miss you. Yeah. Oh, my love. Take me away. And Finnish guy's like, we have a family here. He's like, Burga no do birda. And all the kids like, eh. and she like just slaps him. I if she had kids with another man, then she's not. Oh, what the get out! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Push her out of the Take plane. off your belt again and hit her in your belt. Right, that's it! <laughs> right, right! You know 
know what happened. <laughs> Man, you, you get that belt on and off fast. Kind of makes you it's wonder. It's almost like I'm practicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fucking... It's a, it's a, a quick draw. Yeah. The swift of hand. Dude, the only... Even I'm starting to fear whenever he says, All right, then. Right. All right. Right. We'll see about that. You know, that's, that's how, you, that's how yeah. you foster a good relationship. On and off. No pants falling down here. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'll keep the pants tight too, even without the belt. That's you'll right. ne- you'll never see me look like a a wiki bicky. That's right, a wiki bicky. <laughs> Bloody wiki bickies, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> that is England. <laughs> that is a vocalization of that country. <laughs> England. <laughs> You met my mate Stanley. Met my mate Stanley. Ever meet my mate Stan? Who? Uh, Stanley? Oh yeah, no. Stan. <laughs> I know him. We all know each other. I've got a mate named Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> my friend named Stanley. My friend. I don't appreciate this racial, <laughs> racial hatred coming my way. My, my, my friend named Stanley. You're welcome for the world, everyone. <laughs> He's a horrible friend. We, you build you build empires with men we, like that. We, 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 <laughs> you build empires. Go on, Stanley. The aqueducts. It'd be cool if a waddle could go <laughs> down <laughs> and down. My, James, Stanley's right. My God. <laughs> That's such a great idea. I thought aqueducts were like the Romans. It is. <laughs> it is. Stanley, so well read. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> He's like on him like sliding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out he just wanted water slides off Stanley. Not only did he invent basic plumbing as we know it, but he also invented the tourist attraction of water parks. Do you think like it, how fucking weird it'd be like after the fall of the Roman Empire, there was just people these peoples in Europe would walk past these giant structures that they just had no idea how were built or how to build. Wouldn't mm. that be fucking crazy? I just thought that's like a really cool evocative image. Day. Yeah. You just go by a skyscraper, you're them. like, what? How did they do it? That's usually what I say. God, are you serious? Jet fuel can't melt and steel beams. Somebody. What? How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. I think it's a, I Sorry think it's, for no, I think it's an interesting premise. I was just watching Hunter derail it as usual. <laughs> you don't like to talk philosophy. So. I would say what's philosophical about that. I know well, what you mean. no, you know, wait, well, I know what you mean. Just, just the. the oh, um, well, fuck. I mean, how, how else am I supposed to answer that? I don't know. Yeah, just, it would be fucking odd. Yeah, we just talk about it. It'd be weird, me. wouldn't it? Yeah. You can take him up like, on oh, his oh, premise. Oh, oh. Hmm. Yeah. What kind of like structures? And I'm like, oh, yeah. policy. Because obviously, the difference between a modern day skyscraper and that is, you know, that you could find someone that could tell you how they built that. Whereas then they're walking around and literally no one knows how that was built. You know how that would honestly go? You know how that would go? Hey, is it, you know how to build this? No? Alright. No one's saying you, you, you're back. Or how, how about there's nobody even there? You're walking by. I wonder <clears throat> who, who built that. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'll never know. I better worry about my mm-hmm. 24 years of life expectancy. So and you, I guess do, I'll you walk think it, do you think it was magic, Tom? Do you think that people thought that it was magic? This is what you get for... This is, this, is, this is where this explores into is the magic aspect. Have fun with that. I mean, it's better than it being a simulation. I like magic more mm. than simulation. Same thing. We don't have to talk about simulation. I'm just, we don't yeah, have I mean, to do that. he's, yeah. No, Clenching, they, probably thought, his fist. they probably thought it was the gods. <laughs> we don't have to talk about We don't it. have to talk about that if you don't want to. We really don't have I to. Talk open about the door, <laughs> but I guess I'll close it again. Can go somewhere else with it. Like the sky. Have you seen these un- 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 unidentified <laughs> flying objects? Oh, yes, magic. Uh, no, the, the government. Did you hear about the Pentagon's? They're going to release some info on J- June Your 1st. Vows. I, I that. Yeah. Are you gonna tune in? I, I am. Yeah, I'm free. We pretty. believe. Mm-hmm. This is this pack of papers. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. We have found some serious objects flying that we believe are not from this world. Exhibit one: a black and white thing that's like kind of barely visible. You know, it's probably a minority of the viewers, but there is a minority of the viewers that <clears throat> have a real problem with your attitude. About I don't give a fuck. Of you got a problem with my attitude? Guess what? 
why don't you come over here and I'll buy you a drink and I'll win you over. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would as well. Mm-hmm. Hey, Don, this seems like a perfect chance for you here to we go. explain mm-hmm. to exactly. the ignorant commenters yeah. why Explain, they're wrong we're, about we're, the UFO deal. Right. Oh, we're talking about UFOs again? That's not even what I was trying to do. I was just trying to engage you in your thought, because I also think that's interesting. No, no, I know, but we just talked about, he was making fun mm-hmm. about the Pentagon and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, okay, so when we did that episode, there were a lot of comments calling me an idiot. Well, explain <laughs> it as if someone hasn't seen that episode. Okay, so we did an episode where yeah. I went into all of the <clears throat> recent mainstream press about unidentified flying objects so they have some new stupid name it, we're just not going to cut to you right now so you can just you can do whatever you want oh, you gotta learn to yeah. tune it out and not I'm, comment I, on it well like, just just let so, it happen over there it's just so hard <laughs> okay okay all right go ahead go you need horse blinders <laughs> <laughs> little, little That'd be cool. Right I, I would, I would sit Full here. Full of jelly beans. <laughs> I would sit here. And the, and the UFO. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. oh, Please buy me one. I'll wear it for the next episode. All right. So yeah. I'll legitimately buy. It. Yeah, I'll get do, you. Do I'll get you that and a twenty-three and me. Present. See how horse present, you really your, are. present your phone <laughs> and buy it right now while I talk about UFOs. Order. No, me. I want to be present for this conversation. Order me a human horse feed. Blinder mask. I could probably do that. A human one. There's got to be stuff like that for mm-hmm. sex. Oh, but. for sure. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> there's death that exists. I'm pretty sure. Mm. There's declassified videos that officials that are still working in government have called. We don't know what this is. Now, <clears throat> people, and we talked about that a few episodes ago. And then people in the comments got pissed off at me by because I was asserting that the government had effectively acknowledged that there's aliens, mm. and which is they. True. Well, more or less. So what they were saying was that I, they, they essentially assumed, accused me of reading headlines and then mm. jumping to that conclusion. Yeah, the, the, the classic case of being like, you know, Don, just because it's UFO, that doesn't mean that it's, it's an unidentified flying mm. object, not spacey things, you fucking goon. Why don't you read about it? Yeah. Why don't you actually like look into it instead of just being an idiot and saying these things? But the thing about it is if you read the things... The same officials are saying, and I think the recent one, they were on like CNN or something. They had a guy on <clears> that CBS. said, or whatever, yeah, talking mm. to that asshole. But um, they were saying uh, that the stuff we've seen in this footage, which is real, that the government has verified is real, outpaces our technology by maybe a thousand years, possibly. I, I, don't, I have no idea how they come up with that number, but right. like to, to dismiss that is not at least interesting. Oh, you no, know? we're back. <laughs> That's Hunter. interesting, right? <laughs> I know, yeah, I made the mistake of turning. I need. We need like a. I, I want like a button that just like raises a wall. Why? You know I mean? Yeah, it'd be cool. You should have that button in your head. I was. I was yeah. only scoffing I at the. I was only scoffing at the part. It, you know, but it, it keeps, I was only scoffing at the part where it's just like, and this technology goes up. I mean, it's advanced a thousand <laughs> years, and someone's like, "Where did you get that metric?" He's like, "Hmm." <laughs> Excuse me. He's like, "A thousand years. What do you mean by that?" I'm just I feel saying. like it could have been explained in a more compelling <clears throat> way too. It's this is the compelling part. There was like an air fleet carrier, you know, <clears throat> the fucking planes and shit on it, and some very highly decorated air force pilots mm-hmm. came across this like tic tac shape hovering above the water, displacing the water with its fucking whatever. Right, so you know it's you know it's not just like a hologram or something because it's affecting the shit beneath it no there was no there was no displacement that was the crazy thing about uh-oh, it uh oh already the story starts to unfold in different tom mm-hmm. all right tom. let's ignore the displacement whatever there's this tic tac shaped mm. thing highly mm. decorated air force pilots see it okay it then like lifts moves way faster than fucking anything can that we have doesn't break a sound barrier either and also it was actively blocking the like radar and all the tracking mm. shit on the ship but they did get footage of it with like, they cycled through their view modes and you see it hovering and then it goes, Wee! right, there you go. Mm. That's, what, how do you explain that? And they, that's what we're at. <coughs> Maybe the fucking Chinese figured out turbo holograms and that's all I've got. Or aliens, or time travelers, or mole people. It could be anything, but we don't know. There you go, give the fans what they want. I didn't want to go back down aliens door. I wanted to talk about the Coliseum. <coughs> I just wanted to give you a chance to- No, I just wanted to talk about the Coliseum. You could try. I'm waiting. You could have done some fun bits with that, but you're get, it's like an autistic rage. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, is it not? The fun bit was, oh yeah, 
That's like being in New York, and I don't know how to build this either. I think it's more like if you lived in the woods your whole life, and you walked out the woods, and there was a skyscraper, mm-hmm. right? What is that? And no one in it. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. what? Hello? Huh? And also, there's no one on the planet you can find. Is can there a door you. to the skyscraper in the woods? <laughs> this, well, like Narnia. <laughs> you're, you're not, not like you're not mm-hmm. going through a portal, but like a legitimate sky. Yeah. Hey. hey! Yeah. No one's there, and you're like. Well, you gotta check out that skyscraper. Automatically, you mm-hmm. never would have made it this long in this reality because mm. you don't fucking go to a you know foreign place and shout hello and announce yourself. You'd be, oh, I, you'd have I, your spear. No, no, I absolutely. And you'd be do. creeping around. No, 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 I absolutely do. Because I sit there, you know what happens? Some like eight people come out. <laughs> they're inhabiting the building. I'm like, ah, and I fucking paw at this huge desert eagle. Boom, boom. I'm like, I'm here. I I, I yell that in there. I'm here. And I take over the skyscraper, and then that's why I become Hunter Sky Sky Skyscraper. I'm Skyscraper. I'm king of this hey, don't mystical go, go, building. Don't go up there. There's a fat idiot that's <laughs> shooting <laughs> people. Desert eagle <laughs> shooting people in the top suite. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you hear the distance, like if you hear him, you can hear him just screaming by himself. I'm here. No. no. <laughs> Or you, or you I don't know how I have so many yeah, bullets, like like an ammunition catch yeah. up there or something. What you really hear awesome. is doctors imprisoning me. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's drawing a lot. <laughs> hey, get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, thanks for the two hundred bits. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> Just <laughs> dreaming up <Yeah>. there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I would have done if I was doing the alien skit? I would have. What would if you were in? If you were the we already alien, did it. If you were in the alien, or if you, you shot the, them. If no, no, no. If you were the decorated pilot, yeah. Give me if you had to act out what he's like flying up. He's like, oh, oh. what the bloody Jew is that? <laughs> See where you try and take control, <laughs> Hunter. Is that what you would really do? Yeah. What the bloody Jew is that? Probably. My suspension. Can you, the, can you keep the comms clear? What are you seeing? <laughs> You find this Royal Navy white supremacist guy flying our. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> our jet. Yeah. Uh, I watched a goofy movie the other day. I didn't like those. What movies. does this have to do? You didn't do like with... a goofy movie? I don't think so, no. A goofy movie is the best Disney movie mm. by far. I remember watching it and not liking it. Are you forgetting about fucking Trader Mickey? What is that? A... You activated my trap card. <laughs> 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 let me explain. <laughs> I'll let people find it on their own. You carry on. Is that goofy like movie? That? Is that like a, a bit online video or something? You know, some, oftentimes people say, make what you love. <laughs> <laughs> make what you're passionate about. Mm. And what Disney was passionate about. But yeah, Goofy Movie it was is awesome. <clears throat> I haven't seen it in a long time. I remember uh, not liking that Goofy wasn't Goofy. They tried to take Goofy and make him something he wasn't. Goofy is a good dad. He's a goof. It's all about Max becoming a goof. He's afraid to become what his dad is. <clears throat> and then Goofy's just trying to fucking be a good good dad. Actually, it's a very good uh, arc. It's a good circle. I remember... I mean, I guess it was the whole point of the movie, Max accepting being cartoonish, but I thought he was boring as like a not No, Max guy. is pissed off because he's like... Trying to get some snakes. Yeah, he's trying to go yeah. off. He has, he's like, his dad's like, oh, I want to spend time with my son. We should go on a fishing trip. And it's like right in the, around this time where mm-hmm. this piece of pussy that he's trying to get this whole time is like, yeah, I'll go to this party with you. Mm-hmm. So he's like, yeah, he's a little teenager. He's all horned up and shit, dick all numb. And the next thing you know, his dad's like, no, we're going to go fishing because I love you. You're my son. You now he's a bitter little dickhead about it, which when you're younger, you're like, why don't you cheer the fuck up, Max, you dickhead? But now, growing up, I'm like, yeah, dude, I'd be pissed, too. I mean, come on. What the fuck, Dad? Out of nowhere. But that's a nice bonding experience in the movie. You wouldn't be mad if instead of, like, you've been you've been sniffing after this fucking hot piece of puss. Like, like mm-hmm. 17 years old. Yeah, well, and and your dad's didn't, like, why didn't he just tell Goofy? Fishing. Why didn't he just tell Goofy about it? He well, did. He does. Yeah. Well, he says, I want to... He's I'm like, Dad, to, I want to fucking ride I'm her. I'm trying to smash. I'm trying then, to smash, Papa. I don't think well, he does. Course, I think he's he's he, passive about he it. Says, he, he says he beats around. I, he's it. like, Dad, I, I'm going to go to this party with this girl, and you don't understand. And he's like, mm-hmm. he's like, Listen, Max, these are the last few good years we have together, and before mm-hmm. you're off and doing your own thing, and I just want to spend time with my son. So there's a well, point with that as well. A, there's a kind of a good counter argument there. Now I feel for Goofy. It's, it, yeah, it's one of those things where well, the, the, the entire time it's all about Goofy. Feeling like he needs to be closer to his son and feeling like Max is a good guy, but of course Max betrays his trust a little bit somehow. And then now it's about Max feeling guilty for 
betraying his dad and they realizes that his dad is just trying to be a good dad as like a good dude as well. Who's right at the end? I think they both are. Okay. This sounds haunty you're selling me. Mm-hmm. It's a great movie. I mean also I'll tell you the entire Do time I was like, shot. oh my God. The the lighting in this scene is so good. Like there's so many like good mm-hmm. arty moments, artsy moments where I'm like, oh shit. If I rem- does the girl have like red hair? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she has the exact a- same outfit as Peggy Hill. <laughs> it's fucked. What I, I remember as a kid oh, like Huh? Being yeah. sexually attracted like a furry, I was like, oh, yeah, it's one of those other. Uh, uh, it's one of those movies where it's like the baits. cartoony, yeah, the lower yeah. bit, the bunny mm-hmm. type thing. <clears throat> I'm starting to realize there may have been a concerted effort in the '90s to destroy a whole generation of men by making them attracted to furry cartoons. <laughs> there's her. Yes. There's Lola Bunny. Yeah, it actually started with Maid Marian, I think, in Robin Hood. We missed that one. The furries. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Yeah. Mm. That was one of my favorites. When was, was Bambi? That was old, wasn't it? Bambi yeah, was they, they weren't. They weren't a uh, human. Thumper. Though. That fucking that rabbit chick oh, is straight up oh, coming herself yeah, with big fuck me that. eyes, dude. I forgot Who? about that. This guy's as far further back than I thought. Yeah, the 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 rabbit that, that rapes his friend. I didn't have I didn't Thumper have, did not get raped at the don't start. Remember that. Thumper wanted to thump her. <laughs> if you catch my drift, that's what rabbits do. Yeah, absolutely, they but they she didn't was need being to fucking cartoonize that. Very inappropriate. You guys remember how touching him? You never see any Mulan porn, do you? Interesting. Is it just I feel like you see a lot of like she's is, ripe for it too because you've got the whole like ladyboy thing. She's mm. ripe for it. <laughs> well, she is. You, I, 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 think, I think it's because she's. Penis. I think it's because she's not an animal. Oh, but there's plenty of porn of the other non-animals. The other there. is there? Disney, surely of the prince. Ah, of course. I don't be. ever see her amongst the other princesses, though. Do you? Mm. Like whenever I think of the princesses, I always think well, of she like, wasn't. She wasn't a princess. I think of like Cinderella, Jasmine, Belle, even like Little Mermaid. I've seen. Or like fitting that stereotype or whatever mm. of like the. I don't think you know. Mulan's that fit. Maybe that's it. Kind of looks mannish, ironically. Yeah, she kind of was. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't give her a femboy penis though. It's perfect. It like fits the themes of the film. That was actually for a long time my favorite <laughs> Disney movie because now that has the greatest soundtrack of any Disney movie for sure. Be a man. Be a man. Also, I remember when I was a kid, I loved that part with the, the whole. Uh, that I always hated the raspy guy's voice. So it's like, don't swim. Let me. Friend. And then yeah, pretty much. And then, like Asian, let me. but I like whenever uh, she has to climb up the log thing, mm-hmm. and, or like the arrows mm-hmm. and the the arrows yeah. pinning the apples to the. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought all that shit was satisfying as a kid. I was like, mm-hmm. how weird do you think the fuck was with the like captain after the film's over? Did he go straight for her asshole, do you reckon? <laughs> She's like, I've got, you know, I've got a pussy. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I Inspecting know. it. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning her around. Mm. <laughs> Ni hao my long. He's like shuffling around on his knees. <laughs> yeah. I will what, what take a number 24. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I remember I liked that movie too because I thought the bad guy looked actually evil as fuck and he had a dope The sword. Mongolian dude looked awesome. Mm hmm. Yeah, he had like that, like fucking. He had a falcon jack, too, tiny, right? Tiny feet. Yeah, yeah. The falcon and the like the sword that like had a cool voice too. <clears throat> yeah, he, yeah, he was cool. Just how Very massive kind of, they were yeah. too, like orcs. Like yeah, they like, were like yeah. over the wall and fuck up those little. That's, a, that's guys. a pretty dark spot. Whenever like they peer over and it's like a, just a fucking battlefield of dead people. Mm-hmm. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that movie was good. And also, to be fair, the comic relief of Eddie Murphy. As I was going to say so the good. like almost minstrel like nature of that character. <laughs> 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 they really didn't hold back. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, you know, he's, he's just a black guy. They're like, okay, Eddie, you're black. So that means you need to be like really loud. They just went fucking whole hog with it. Did did uh, did Mulan come out before Shrek? Because that's the exact same character. Don- like donkey and, cast him, didn't they? donkey and the dragon are the exact same. Like, oh, yeah, come on right. now. Yeah, come right. on, Mulan. <laughs> we got to get up there to the battlefield. You got to be, you have to be training in the morning. Cricket? Yeah. Cricket. I did like the cricket too. Yeah, it was a little cricket. Oh, I have to see. The Lucky Cricket. Oh, that's right. I, that was a cute thing. All the ancestors and like the one spirit that comes back is the dragon for her. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good movie, man. Good shit. It is, yeah. I think also, I don't know why. I'm, I'm probably just biased, but I think just aesthetically, yeah. too. I love the 2D movies more than... Yeah, it came movie. out first before Shrek. 
Well, yeah, because it mm-hmm. was re- Renaissance, wasn't it? And that was all 90s. Mm-hmm. And, oh, until yeah, like yeah. Tarzan, which was like one of the last ones. Mm-hmm. Now there's a fucking film. I think dudes. the last one Disney ever did was what, Princess and the Frog? That I never saw count. one. Who fucking cares about that? Mm-hmm. That was like the. People that was them like trying it. to. Meh, lies. That was them trying to like make the comeback, but it was over. Oh, so they tried doing it like, oh, well, we can do another 2D one. Yeah, we can just, just, just But it, it, the market has already yeah. decided that like 3D is yeah, moving like forward. Yeah, like Toy Story mm-hmm. happened. Sorry. Mm-hmm. It's over. Mm-hmm. But uh, the baboons in Tarzan. So good. Mm-hmm. Another kiss moment. That whole, that whole, that soundtrack is good too. Phil Collins did oh, the whole thing. awesome. Yeah, I love it. That's a great one. Also, the, all of I've the, the, the anime. I think it's kind of a reach sometimes. Like I like a lot of the Phil Collins. Phil Collins? Yeah, it just. Oh, it, I remember the main score. Feels like a stick. The main sort of score that, uh, Yeah, the main thing he did. The, how's yeah. it go? Uh, be in my heart. Oh, that's, yeah. that's gay, isn't there? Another one. Uh, he doesn't know. I thought there was like a upbeat one that was like. I wanna know. Yeah, can you show, can you show me? me? That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna know. That's a good one, man. I just mm-hmm. remember the part in the movies whenever he's like. On that tree branch, and they're like looping, and like the the motion oh, the, of his feet. Yeah, the animation is <laughs> oh, phenomenal. It's so crazy, good, incredible, it's so crazy. good. Mm-hmm. And I tell you, who's fit? Fucking Jane. Mm-hmm. I, it's been so long; I don't even remember what she looks like. I mean, I mean, she's just she like, looks like a Jane. she does look like like a fit upper class British girl. Mm-hmm. She's got those lips. Something about them. I uh, I always go back and think about. I man, I'm. I didn't just need to watch some of these again. I'm just like thinking about it. Like Aladdin, how fun Aladdin is at the beginning with the whole like... Aladdin's awesome. With his hand. Give me the lamp! <laughs> that whole thing is so fun. Yeah, it is cool. I like the design of her dad too. Like the king or whatever. Man, mm. all of those films are He's like so great. round and small. And he's like, oh, Jasmine. He's like tiny ass hands and Jasmine. feet. Yeah. Yeah. Jafar! <laughs> Jafar! <laughs> Polly want a cracker? <laughs> Jafar is a great great villain great design too all it like, like all the swoop like yeah it just everything mm. about all those renaissance films are undeniable mm. except for the part where they went and retroactively like cut things out because everyone's fucking gay now mm. yeah I, I feel like i, I mean obviously i was too young to really know what's up but i don't know i never thought where they cut off your hand it's barbaric but hey it's home oh so they've cut that out of the end yeah of yeah, course yeah. did they cut out the harem scene or, oh no! I think they changed it to like a school, or maybe that's the live action one. What's a harem? There's this, there's a scene in the original What's animated a harem? one. It's, a, it's like a like brothel. A f- not a brothel. It's like a well, a, 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 a well, yeah, a guy's a uh, a guy's room where he locks up all his wives and walks in and fucks. I don't them. think they're even wives. They're just like concubines. Concubines, whatever. Oh, yeah. that was in the original movie. Yeah, so he, he, he like goes in. in a window, yeah, and he's like surrounded by all these like whores, basically. Oh, and, with their masks on. Or yeah, I think that, I think they changed it to like a school though. Mm-hmm. Or I feel for, like they're not for even women really whores, in the Middle though, East. Are they? They were probably like stolen off the street. Right. <laughs> I guess I should put out that I'm probably going to be doing my own story time animation. <laughs> this is not a billboard. This podcast is not your billboard. You you shield your merch. Mm. That can be enough for one. Okay. I do wonder if we could build that. If I could have a button that just raises like a blast door. Have yeah. you you've been thinking about this the whole I have. time? I've been imagining the slot, you know, and the sort of motor pulleys you'd have to install in the table, and how we'd reconcile that with the aluminum top. Don, to do. why don't you focus on your office before building your wall? <sighs> yeah, no the, the shit. wall. The wall is uh, a pretty pressing issue. Is all I'm saying. I feel like mm-hmm. I am nothing but delight on this podcast. Mm-hmm. I can't even remember why I was just thinking of the wall. Why we invited but, you? No, to do this. <laughs> I can't even remember. Hey, I helped conceive this idea. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, you're doing a boring story time cartoon. I'm think it could be an interesting way to tell a narrative, tell a fun, creepy narrative from a real story that happened to me. Except you're trying to ruin it. Tell no, I you, don't know, man. Tell me how you're gonna ruin it. I think I might try to keep it grounded in the truth of it. I mean, I mean, I have to pull the trigger on it, and if mm-hmm. I can write something up and it seems good, I'll have you guys read it. And see. It's also I mean, possible we're wrong. Yeah, not well, to add some more doubt to your yeah, very yeah, doubt-ridden. Yeah, we're, minds. we're not. We're not wrong. Yeah, I think you just write it how exactly how it happened, and that's a great story. And those of you, if you're listening back to this episode in a couple of weeks <laughs> after you made it, uh, if that's what you did, then you know. Should I just tell the story now on the podcast? Yeah, I think that'd be yeah, fun. Yeah, without, without embellishment, and then you will see in the comments, people say, yeah, that's like... Just yeah, tell the story game. exactly how it happened. I will no tell you exactly lies. how it happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so you guys heard this 7,000 times, so I apologize, but... No, yeah. no, please go ahead. So, this was uh, one, when I was young, third grade, like the first kind of uh, slumber party experience, I guess you could say. It wasn't the first one, but for a title, it's like my first slumber party. It just rings better. They're right? already lying. Yeah, well, let's let the man tell the story. <laughs> to be he, fair. He, t- he said mm-hmm. early on 
One of the first ones I actually remember. And we did the lights. Anyway, so in in third grade, you pretty much go, you know, you get out of school at like 3.30. And then uh, we have to take the bus to his house, which takes like 45 minutes to an hour. So by the time you're getting to the guy's house, it's almost 5 o'clock, 5 mm-hmm. p.m. But you don't give a shit because you're eight years old. You can, go, you can go, you can be up for, you know, a week and a half without sleeping because you're just excited. Because all week you're like, I'm going to go to my friend's house and it's going to be fun. We're going to play video games all night. But you're mm-hmm. off the fucking rails. I'm walking up with my fucking backpack full of Pokemon cards, you know, sh- 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 clicking, clacking. We're sitting there, there for a while. When we get there, we are eating cut up bananas for snacks. Mm-hmm. We're messing around with Pokemon cards on the table. And then we move our way downstairs to where the TV's at. And he has a Nintendo 64 propped up. And we're playing. And he's a very religious man. A religious family, Southern Baptist, which if you guys don't know anything about Southern Baptist, it's all fe- fear of God, hellfire, all that jazz. Right. But he's sitting there and his family didn't have, didn't let him play any like T or M games. It was only E. So that's why we were able to play like Mario Party and he had like maybe some other whatever. Yeah. It's like seven o'clock and he sits there. So we've been at his house for like two hours hanging out. And he shuts off the, the TV and he shuts off the game system and he's like, all right, time for bed. At seven. Huh? No, one, no one else comes in. He just, the clock strikes seven and he turns it off. Literally, like, it was, like, around seven. Like, maybe mm. not, like, right at seven, but, like, around seven. He's like, all right, time for bed. Like, if anything, it was probably, like, in a lull in the game or something. Mm-hmm. Time for bed. And I'm like, what do you, you know, what do you mean? We're, we're supposed to be hanging out and stuff. He's like, oh, well, we got church in the morning. We got to get some sleep. And I was like, <laughs> you know, in my mind, I'm like, well, what the fuck? No one said anything about going to church, dude. Like, which, of course, whenever you're eight, you're more just like, well, that's lame. I didn't know I was going to be going to church in the morning. <laughs> we may have to wake up early and go to church. That sounds lame. But he sits there, and then he's like talking about it, and he starts kind of choking up, and he's just like, I just love it. I love going there, and I just, I can't wait to, I can't wait to go to heaven and stuff. And immediately goes into this conversation about how he just cannot wait to go to heaven. It's going to be this great thing, and he's kind of choking up, and he's sobbing. And he's like, actually, I just think it's going to be great. I'll be able to see my my grandma and I'll be able to do this. Blah, blah. And he sit there. And of course, my mind, this is more vulgar than what I actually thought. But I was like, what is this fucking loser doing? Like <laughs> talking about all this bullshit. And then he sat there and he like kind of like started like chuckling and like, like wiped off his tears. He's like, I'll raise you up to I'll raise you upstairs. I'll raise you up to my room. <laughs> the darkness of his home. And just runs off. He just took off. Just yeah. I mean, dead sprint. <laughs> and you're like sitting and which I, you know when you're at a friend's house or whatever and it's like you're like uncomfortable to even go use like the restroom mm-hmm. you know have you ever thought that where you're like where's the restroom at and they're like they have to tell you like some weird directions like they make it way more complicated it's up and left but like a weird left yeah. you're like uh uh sorry I couldn't find it like and you have to whatever but mm-hmm. so you're sitting there and I'm like okay sitting alone by myself the fucking TV's off there's all these crosses and pictures of fucking Jesus up on the wall and, and upstairs up this immediate flight of steps is into the kitchen area so i'm like walking up into the kitchen area and then his mom is like by this or in the sink washing dishes or something and there's like the bay window that looks out to the backyard she's washing it and all this stuff and throughout the night there we were brought a copious amount of bananas as snacks like the only it's like hey here's another round hey you guys done with that to a point where at a time the plates of bananas have become stacked like no i'm okay and she's like all right put another one down and you're like i we haven't finished the other two plates let alone the third mm. we, I, but anyways i go upstairs she's sitting there and she's kind of like <laughs> like washing these dishes and sobbing a little bit and this is an odd thing to say and usually people don't believe this because with the kid crying downstairs and they come upstairs and the mom's crying it's real this is what happened She's sitting there, and I remember I was like, "Couldn't really, you don't really process what that means to have an adult cry around you." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm standing there, and the only thing that's really lighting up the room is the dinner light, which is kind of like this, but obviously smaller, cast down on the table, and the open fridge or freezer door. But I look to my right, and there's the dinner table where we were playing with all of our like Pokemon cards and stuff, and I see my Blaziken card that I love because I have no idea how to play. I just like. Oh, I have a Blaziken. He's he does fire kicks in the game. That's cool. And I see it's underneath this pile, this 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 mountain of like thirteen banana peels, <laughs> just all over the cars. <laughs> and the mom is sitting there. I don't think she really knows I'm in there or whatever. But she's like, 
and stuff. And I remember looking at it, and I like looked toward. I said, "I said, hey, my dad paid a lot for these." <laughs> <laughs> As if you're ruining my fucking cards. <laughs> and then she like kind of like is like. Ah. And like notices I'm there, and then she like walks over, and she's kind of talking to me, but I notice that her like mascara is running down and stuff, and she's just like really like red in the face, and she's like cutting something. I think that like I misremember this part, but I always associate with her cutting up more bananas because she's like doing something on the island. <laughs> but she's like talking to me, but I don't really pay attention to her or what she's doing because in the freezer I like kind of like peer over like this, and in the freezer is this plump full bag of comb- forty count combination pizza rolls. <laughs> And I got so frustrated because I was like, why the fuck have I been getting nothing but bananas all night when you have a full two hours of just nothing but bananas when you have a full plump bag of pizza rolls in the freezer? I'm like, what what kind of hospitality is this? What kind of fucking hellhole am I in? And she's talking and stuff. And I think that like while she's talking, I kind of just leave because I'm like, because all I'm thinking about the pizza roll thing and I'm all fucking heated about it. I'm like, fuck. You fucking kid me! And I like walk around the corner, and like it's like one of those staircases where it goes up, and then there's one that's immediately next to it that goes up even more mm-hmm. to a hallway where there's the rooms and stuff yeah. to the house. So I'm walking up there, and then the dad is just standing in this dark hallway, just down in the dark, down in the darkness, standing, looking, facing me towards the hallway. With if he's looking at me, I'm not sure, but he is standing there in the darkness, and I don't really register how weird that is of course because I'm a child <laughs> but I remember looking to the left for a brief moment at this open bathroom and there was toilet paper on the um, like their toilet is next to their bathtub and the way that they would use their toilet paper is they would put it on the rim of the bathtub and I right. remember as a child being like that's really gross <laughs> <laughs> like what a, what a weird thing to do at a house like why not just get a fucking wall thing uh-huh. What are you doing? Like, was it the toilet with the toilet paper? Like, I remember, like, sitting there, I was like, looking at it, and like, what if it gets wet? <laughs> you like wipe your ass with like wet toilet paper? Like, I don't know, it's just a weird thing. But I like, look back, and I like really didn't think about it. But the dad, like, kind of sits there, and he like moves into the room, which was my buddy's room. He just moves in and shuts the door behind him. So I'm like, okay, well, like, you know, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> no kind of no kind of interaction. <laughs> I'm walking down this dark hallway, and I go into the kid's room, and the kid has this lamp. That's like, it's like a moving shutter around it. So there's cut out animals, but it's like mostly sheep. So it looks like there are sheep going around the room in like a light form. Thank God. Yeah. And I was like, like walk in and I was like, what are you guys doing? And they really didn't respond because they're on the, they're on the ground by his bed on his knees, like praying and like they're sitting there and then <laughs> giggling, or I probably shouldn't his name, bleep it out, but his, my buddy's giggling. And his dad like gets up and like rubs his head and he's like, "All right, buddy, t- you know, time for bed." Blah blah. blah. And like the he's like, "Yeah," <laughs> you know, gets up in his bed, whatever. And the dad turns around and he's like, "You you didn't have your pr- you didn't uh you didn't pray with us. I hope you sleep okay tonight." <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, and I just said, "Okay." <laughs> and like you know, you s- s- hanging out with your buddy or like your sleepover, and it's like usually you just sleep by his bed or something. So his bed's there, and there's like a blanket and a pillow on the ground on the floor, and I like lay down. And the room is pretty dark, so I can't really see anything, but I hear the door shut, but it doesn't do like the click close. So it's like shuts. So I hear like, Arr! whatever. And then yeah. I'm like laying there, and you're sitting there in the darkness of the room, and you hear kind of like a, like it's someone's moving in the bed. And I'm like, through the darkness, you can see like a head peek over the bed. Like look down at me, and I'm like <laughs> looking up at it. And my friend's like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, do you want to play Donkey Konga?" <laughs> I said to myself, "Uh, no." Or I said, "I was like, no, not really." He's like, "Okay." And he like gets off the bed, you know. He's like, I want to "Get off the bed and go down." And turns on one of those big ass old style cube TVs that just like light up the room with light. Mm-hmm. And he's sitting there with Donkey Kong. If people don't know, it was a game on the fucking GameCube. It was just Donkey Kong, but you control it with a bongo drum. <laughs> so he's slapping the shit out of this bongo drum whenever he's like, oh, we should go to bed. Here he is, like immediately, whatever. But in the living, or, like in the hallway, the dad, like, because now it's light and I can see the room, the, the door is cracked and the dad is just looking in on the room. It's nothing that's like, you know, him like, eh. but it's just him just like, 
looking in on the room, and that's like kind of where that memory ends. <laughs> <laughs>